What's important about this first chart, can you hear me okay? Uh, is the fact that you can take all of these things that the, the concerned scientists are talking about and uh, that's only worth 20 days of sunshine. And I thought that was remarkable that you could put all those things together and it doesn't do you any good. Not the... Uh, That's what I did. There okay. Okay. What started me on this program, or what the, the position that we're in now, is the Department of Energy has started a, what's called a Sunshot Initiative, which is trying to develop a, a solar electric system that fits in your home. And uh, the only problem is it's a roof mounted system and it excludes all condominiums. And they say that specifically, condominiums are not involved. Uh, it only establishes the, the roof-mounted systems, and uh, they call it a plug-and-play competition because they want to try and get everything to hook up real fast in a day. All the elements the, or modules that go into the system have to be in, done in that period of time. Uh, but the fact that the competition is limited to uh, roof-mounted systems, that's a, a bonus for the sunlight harvester because the sunlight harvester can operate anywhere uh, any time of day and uh, with a roof mounted system you're stuck with the uh, east facing roof uh, in order at least here you are to pick up the sun for at least four hours a day uh, this is what the system looks like it's got uh, a battery base on the bottom, which holds a uh, 24-volt uh, recyclable or cycle, cycle batteries, and uh, how do I get that thing off there? It's blocking the words. The sunlight harvester is uh, just push that button. Yeah. Oh wait a minute! I want to go back to that. Okay, Sunlight Harvester is a mobile solar electric generator, and uh, it has a power storage system on the bottom, which I said was the batteries. Uh, it's designed with two axes of rotation to track the sun and curvilinear motion on the bottom to avoid the encroachment of shade. Uh, this base system acts as a power storage container. Uh, it will provide electric power anywhere in the world, any time of day, and that's important to know. Uh, it will even do your aquaponics garden for you. It can be stored in a small area, which you see in the bottom picture there, and just cover it up with, uh, what? Oh, I see. It's a good thing I have this assistant with me. <laughs> Don't fall. Okay. And then the bottom picture can be stored in a, a very small uh, location so that you can have the parties in your patio and it won't be affected by the, the solar electric generator. Uh, but there are thousands of uh, patios in the, in the southwest Sun Belt. Uh, there's so many condominium complexes and uh, townhomes that uh, they're typical like this picture here and uh, there's a lot of room like this one on the bottom it has uh, about 300 square feet of room which is more than enough for the uh, solar generator to fit uh, there's additional versions of it that would be uh, available for the military for forward operating bases and uh, any disaster relief places where all the power lines are taken out and they need some form of energy. So they get this, uh, you can put in the, the, this mobile generator. Uh, the, it's truly a plug and play system because, and that's what the government was looking for on, uh, to make the, the system cheaper so everybody can afford one. 
but it consists of uh, six subsystem or modules uh, that do the things that I told you about with the two axes of rotation and uh, being able to move around it within your patio and uh, each module can be upgraded independently. You can unplug it, take it out and put in another one. Like when new panels come out that are twice as efficient as the ones that are in there now, you just unplug them and put in the new ones. And uh, it's just in, instead of a matter of uh, days, it's a matter of hours, if, if that much. One more minute. Okay, the six uh, independent modules comprise the, the carriage that it's supported on. Uh, a power storage container and mast support system uh, which uh, contains the uh, 12 to 16 deep cycle batteries, uh, solar panel erector mast uh, which lifts up the, the panels and runs cabling be from the panels at the top down to the battery or power storage system at the bottom of the place. Uh, the, the solar panel brace and erector mechanism supports the PV panel and it's, uh, it acts as the uh, uh, what the heck, let's see. Well, it acts as the combiner box that you see for most other systems. It, that's done in the mass cap of the system. Uh, so these six modules tell you exactly what goes into the system and they're like independent uh, parts of the system which can be uh, serviced at any time. Uh, okay, well that's it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>